The family of a former social worker says the, ombuds, the Ombudsman's Child Protection Report confirms there is still a culture of bullying of staff who raise concerns about the service. The government says the department has been instructed to make sure every child at risk is now investigated and the service is being rebuilt from the ground up. But the Territory Opposition says things won't improve until a culture of cover-up is ended. The husband of former child protection worker Susan Mansfield says the Ombudsman's report proves everything she said. There's definitely a culture of bullying and harassment that goes on in the uh, departments. The Ombudsman says as she investigated bullying of staff who complained at-risk children weren't being investigated, it continued. One of the um, senior managers at the service um, when she was aware that staff were taking time off to come and see the Ombudsman, would insist on driving the staff member to the Ombudsman's office. When she surveyed child protection staff in April, the Ombudsman found 65% said there was workplace bullying by managers, 63% had no confidence in grievance resolution processes, 24% feared negative consequences if they aired a grievance. In May, staff told the government's own reform monitoring committee there was a lack of communication about reform, many staff vacancies and a lack of systems and processes. Andrew Mansfield says they'd be mad to complain. If it stays like it is and what they've put my wife through, don't do it. The government says the service to children is improving. We've got professionals in the front line, never happened before in the territory. We've got after hour notification that was never happening before in the territory. The opposition says complaint avenues have closed. The threat of um, recrimination is still there. Uh, the government's basically eliminated the ombudsman from the child protection industry. But the Children's Commissioner, Howard Bath, says anyone with a complaint about services to children can come to him and be completely assured they'll be protected. Jane Barton, ABC News.